Hey, Texas Values supporters, um, Jonathan Covey here. I'm the policy director for Texas Values. I have with me here Mary Elizabeth Castle, who's a policy advisor at Texas Values. And what we want to do today is we want to talk about the Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills State Standards. Uh, many people call them the TEKS. Right now, as a lot of you know, we're going through a revision process. This is the first time in 23 years that the State Board of Education has revised uh, the TEKS for to determine what public school children will be taught in the state of Texas. So we're going through that process. Uh, the SBOE mem uh, board is made up of 15 members and they have work groups that they've put together to review the curriculum in this process. It's a very complicated process as well. As you can see, we were provided with a graph that has this, um, this huge bubble graph thing that has a lot, of different, um, a lot of different stages and steps. And so what we wanted to do, what we thought would be a good idea to do, was to kind of try to break down the rest of the process. We're in the middle of the process right now, and we thought we would break down the rest of the process for you um, and try to explain to you kind of what are the last few remaining steps going forward. So to do that, we brought in our resident expert, Mary Elizabeth Castle, who will be explaining to you, and we're going to utilize this whiteboard behind us to kind of give you a better idea and some visual effects for what we're going to be uh, trying to do. So Mary Elizabeth, if you would, uh, what's going on? You may be familiar with our work and wondered what we do at the State Board of Education, or as we like to call it here at Texas Values, the SBOE. Now the SBOE, the Texas State Board of Education, is a board of elected officials that work on things such as the school budget for all Texas public school students, but most importantly, they work on the teaching standards for all Texas public school students across the state. We, you've seen us testify on the Social Studies TEKS, the Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills, and currently we've been working on the Health TEKS, the Texas Education Knowledge and Skills. Now if you've been following us in the Health TEK adoption process, you know that recently we asked you to be a participant in the process by testifying in front of the State Board of Education. Now their process is very transparent and it allows for testimony on these teaching standards. So let's start with the most recent step that we've taken in the Health TEK adoption process. That step has been SBOE discussion. Now the SBOE discussion came after you testified before the board about what you wanted to see in the health teaks regarding sex education. Now this discussion that happened was on the day after testimony and in the discussion the State Board of Education members, all 15 of them, gathered around and looked at the testimony and what you sent to them and decided on what they needed to send to the work group. Now a work group is a group of experts, sometimes teachers, sometimes health professionals in the case of health, uh, sometimes experts in the field who are chosen to come together a lot of times by the SBOE recommendation to actually help uh, draft the TEKS. So after this SBOE discussion, uh, they will send a charge to the work group to look back at the TEKS to see if anything needs to be added. And so that'll go to the next step, the work group charge. And in the charge, some of the things that you testified about, or like for us at Texas Values, a lot of the things that we submitted to the board in formal comment uh, will be submitted to the work group on what they need to change in the current draft of the TEKS. Uh, and you see TEA meeting. That's where they meet to discuss uh, what, how they're going to conduct the charge for their work groups. Now, who's the TEA? It's the Texas Education Agency. That's the agency that handles everything with public schools, sometimes for even higher education. And so they do a lot of kind of the groundwork, the nitty gritty things uh, in putting together the TEKS. Now after the work group gets the charge, they have to be put to work. And so that's when the TEA, the Texas Education Agency, uh, posts a work group product online. So before we get there, you actually have the work groups come together and meet and they discuss, should we take the recommendations of the SBOE members and what should we do in order to make this document better? Uh, and then that product will be available for public consumption so you can make recommendations and see if the work groups are on track and if they're doing the right thing. So after that is 
posted, uh, the content advisors review the drafts. Now, who are the content advisors in the this process. So the content advisors were chosen very early on. The content advisors are actually nominated by the SBOE members. That's why it's really important to vote for your SBOE members. They were nominated to actually put together their expertise. And in the case of health, these were doctors, uh, some health teachers, some uh, motivational speakers on you know, positive thinking. Uh, people from all different backgrounds who are experts in this field, they come together and they actually are kind of above the work group and setting what should be the content for that particular subject. So after they look at what the work group puts together, the content advisors will review the drafts and make sure that it is in alignment with what they said in the beginning that needed to be in that particular subject. Now after that, the public really can get involved. And that's when we have our first reading of an official draft. Now, if you've been following us in the health process, uh, we just finished the SBOE discussion and there are several steps you have to get to before you get to the actual first draft. So in this first draft, you'll have another opportunity to testify in the public. However, it'll be more concise, you can say, because it'll be an official draft line by line of what the kids will actually be learning in the classroom. And it'll be either edited or expanded based on what the work groups did and based on what the content advisors saw, uh, whether or not it was in alignment with what they suggested for that particular subject. So you had the opportunity to come and testify in this meeting. Now for health, uh, if you're watching this video during that process, it'll be in September 2020. You can come and testify before the State Board of Education members again. Now at that meeting, that's when they actually take a vote. And that's when you actually see the SBOE members in a democratic process. So they will go through and if you say, hey, this particular teak, as we like to say, needs to be taken out, or this particular teak was left out and we thought you were gonna include this subject, then the SBOE members can decide if they need to make amendments. Kind of like you see at the legislature, they make amendments at the SBOE. So the SBOE members cannot drastically change the content at this point, but they can amend the draft. And after they amend the draft, they will take a vote. Now after that, if you're still not pleased with what the SBOE did, if you're still not pleased with the draft, there's a 30-day public comment period. And you can look at this first draft and see, did they actually listen to the public? Did they actually take recommendations from the experts? Are they so far away from what they said at the beginning? Or are they adding things in? Then you have a 30-day period to actually make public comment and actually tell the SVOE members, you need to put some more things in or you need to take a lot out or we don't agree with the current draft, but even you can say positive things. We do agree with what you're doing. Good job. We want to see more of this. Please be sure to do that. That will be available on the Texas Education Agency website where you can submit comment. You're still not done with the process yet. So after the 30 day public comment, content advisors review the content. And so they review the comments that you submitted along with the most recent draft that was voted on and they compile it and they look at everything. That's why we like to think that this process is very transparent because they're looking at all the expert opinions, not just from the work groups, from the SVOE members, but also from uh, people across Texas, people like you, if you're a nurse, uh, and you want to comment on health, if you're a social studies teacher, we want to comment on social studies. Uh, we have a huge supporter who's really passionate about science and he's been really involved in the science process. You know, be sure to submit your comments because these content advisors who were considered experts will be reviewing your comments in alignment with the first draft. And now we're getting closer to the end. You have the SBOE second reading and the final amendments. So after that, the SBOE members will look at what the content advisors say. Content advisors are always allowed to come to the SBOE meetings and actually testify and give advice. And some work group members are invited to testify as well. But this meeting is very important because it's the very last step. 
Now, just because it's the last step doesn't mean you can't testify. Our group at Texas Values, even in the social studies process, has always testified, even on the final draft, even in the final vote. So it's still important to make sure that good things are in the TEKS at this process because there could still be work to do and the SBOE members still have the power to make amendments in this final step. Now this will be the final time to make amendments so it's very important that you're at this meeting to testify if you think anything needs to be changed because they will be taking the final vote. Now after the final vote there will be technical editing. You know if you ever rent an SBOE meeting the TEA employee is typing up these amendments you know as they are speaking them and voting on them. So they will t edit it for you know grammar and con but not necessarily content. The content won't change they're just editing for grammar and then you will have the final adoption. Now that's only the last part of the SBOE process, but hopefully this is helpful in having you be active in, at the State Board of Education. It's a very complicated process, but we hope we've made it simple for you so you can get involved. As you can see, there are several places where you can get involved, whether, whether it's at the SBOE discussion, whether it's first reading, submitting comments you know, on your own time privately, or at the final adoption. It's very easy for you to get involved at the State Board of Education, and it's a process where we need all Texans, parents, teachers, experts, just any taxpayer citizen to get involved in the education of our future generation.